There are never any boring cars that ride in Rods and Customs. Uh, that's his uh, Hurst Olds with a Texas Speed LS in it. We're getting ready to take to lunch. So even though we're here to shoot that vet, we're gonna take this to lunch and uh, yeah, that thing doesn't suck. Watch says this is a loud environment. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is. Now don't kill me because my wife will kill you. I'm gonna try not to. Alright. <laughs> I only hurt him anymore myself. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. For those who don't know, fragile my old age. Yeah. For those who don't know, Chris had a pretty bad wreck on a motorcycle, so it's pretty good that he's back from the dead now. <laughs> yeah. It actually feels good to be doing this shit now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cars make everything better. Yeah, yeah, we don't even dodge them in a way. to turn it around show you in the garage here we've already done a video on one of these cars in here Chris has pretty nice shock you can't tell but in here there's the modern modern mullet we have a video of this up on our channel already you've probably already hopefully you've already looked at it got that killer interior by Chuck's There's the Scarlet Lady. Don't even need any music for this video. We have Hearst Olds music. I want to see the motor in the Olds. Nice DeSoto over there. Let's see this stock Hearst Olds motor. It is stock Hearst Olds. <laughs> stock for this Hearst Olds. We got really like the 160 or 170 horsepower that came back. Yeah, so how many miles does this have on it originally? 400? 40,000. 40,000, 40,000. 40,000 original miles. 40,000 original miles. And we brought it home and cut it apart. Well, there you go. Some Texas Speed goodies. That's fun. It's a good driving, running car. 
take out and beat the snot out of it and have fun with the car. Yeah, because you can't always do that with this. These are cars are great to look at, and yes, they run, they function like the Trans Am and the Scarlet Lady, but you don't want to hurt them. Yeah. This hurts the old, the other just is to have fun and beat the snot. Yeah. That keeps you from hurting one of these. Yeah, we talked about doing a burnout one of these for the video, but there's no paint film on the back right at the moment, so can't really do burnouts with it, but it will do burnouts. But it sits there, it looks good. Yeah. Got some Lucky Strike designs, awesome paintwork on the hood, all silver leafed. Jeremy did that twice, yep. of course. Yeah, he did it twice. And uh, Jeremy is obviously an artist. Yeah, Jeremy he's, is he's the man. He's not just a painter, he's an artist. I have to say he's the man because he paints my stuff too, and so I'm obligated to say how awesome he is. He's the one that did all my lowrider graphics on my Sprinter out there, so. Yep, so. All right, I gotta get to take a picture of this Corvette. That's what I'm here to do and not play around in cars and eat cheeseburgers. Why don't you give me a warning when you're gonna do that? <laughs> The dog gonna do a burnout? Yeah, come on, Jack, come on. Jax, you wanna go for a burnout? Come on. No, you got him. Come Where's on. Where's Mr. Jax? Bella, come on. Never have to ask Bella twice. Come on. Get in there. Get your Come on, get in there. Hey, Jax. Come on. Come on. I need some room here, guys. <laughs> Yeah, sitting there doing work, and then I hear, I hear this uh, yellow eye rock go by. He's taking his dogs for a ride. Taking his dogs for a ride. <laughs> what do you think, Bella? You up, Bella? You ready, Bella? What'd you think, Bella? That'll no, ride anything. Yep. Do you know what? As long as you get to go, right? <laughs> That's all that matters. All right, come on, kids. <laughs> come on. I matched my shoes today with the car that we're wearing, that we're driving. Not wearing. Oh wait. What? It's a real real collector's piece. It says, like, so. it says so, right? A real collector's piece. Yeah, I wrote I got matching shoes Damn. for the IROC I'm riding I do in today. Like They're pretty badass. These are Steve Caballeros. They're his Bruce Lee editions or Pittsburgh Steeler editions. Yes. A little close. Not one really sure. <laughs> the things they have long noses on. <laughs> My wife's not gonna like this video at all. Why? I don't know. You make it for your wife? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm making it for me, and then if someone else watches, it's cool. Yeah, these little eye rocks are cool. I wonder if the windows work on this one. Yeah, oh, there you go. I'm not even. You'd think I'd remember these cars by now. Ryan here, Ryan's Rod and Customer 96 South Carolina. Look what I got behind me. This Corvette is bad. This belongs to actually a local guy, which you don't get a lot of. Alan bought this car just a few uh, few years ago, but it has some history behind it I want to share with you. It's really cool. Alan has this lovely wife named Pam. 
Her brother, David, bought this car in the 60s. It was a big block car, and he beat the snot out of this car. He used it for drag racing. He raced it from the, early, or the late 60s into the 70s and even the 80s, and Alan always kept an eye on it. Well, finally it came available to be bought, and Alan put his hands on it. So let me show you this car. This car, we have a new front end on it. All, this, all the sheet metal, if you will, fiberglass, was gone off the front end. The floor is even ripped out of it. The back end was ripped out of it like a dry shaft blue or clutch blue or rear end blue and just came up through the floor and the front end was wiped off it. So we strained all that, put all new body panels on. Um, it's pretty much stock. We just sharpened the lines. We did the gaps. We gapped it all consistently. We extended the rockers a little bit and check out these wheels. These wheels Mike Curse did for us. Mike did our wheels for probably the last 15 years and he nails it on every set of wheels we do. I usually just give him a little sketch, a handwritten sketch, if you will, and Mike turns into this beautiful wheel that we got here. Uh, after all the body work was done, we applied uh, several coats of Exalta candy base coat on it, this green. The green stands out like crazy, and tons of 72 500 clear and cut and buff the thing, and that's what makes it look so slick. Let's look at the front end and the back end. The rear bumpers have all been cut and tucked on the car. Uh, all the trim has been plated and fit perfectly. Everything works good. Under the hood, Alan plans to drive his car. So we have a Connecting Cruise LS3 with Inglaze injection, built specialties front drive on it, built specialty valve cover, it looks killer. We also painted the motor and transmission to match the interior inside, uh, the interior. Chuck Hanna handled our interior for us, which he's done for the last 20 years, and he nailed it. Every interior, I give him a loose idea of what I want, and his stitching and his design and interior is killer. He has Mercedes carpet and the leather's killer. Um, the steering wheel belongs to built specialties, the shifter's low car, power windows, vintage air conditioning. I did a steering column. It's just our standard Chuck Hanna badass interior. He nailed it on that car. As we go to the back of the car, the back end of the car has been changed. We cleaned it up. These normally come with two taillights and now it has three taillights on each side, which was a common thing to do back in the day. So we duplicated that, which I do believe looks better with three taillights. We also slicked up the back end. We moved the exhaust towards the center. Uh, it has a custom exhaust that comes out the center. And if you can look at the bumpers in the back, you can see that they are all tucked in too. Originally, these bumpers in these cars, although I love a Corvette, and everybody loves a C2 Corvette, these bumpers just stuck out too far for me. It looked like we could want to set a beer on or set your drink on that bump or something. Now we're tucked in a little bit. Makes it a little, little cleaner, a little more sleek, if you will. What a difference a day makes. Good thing we got most of that vet shot. Morning, Jax. How are you, sir? Would you like to come in, ma'am? 